today's video, we're going to be comparing the Osmo Action, which is what I'm currently videoing this video on right now, to the Insta360 One X. Okay, so the low light performances between these two are pretty good. Obviously, the Osmo Action has better low light because of the resolution, which is 4K, compared to the 1080p when it, this is cropped to normal looking footage like the Osmo. If you zoom in on the Insta, the quality goes down a lot. Overall, the camera specs on both these cameras are pretty good. The Osmo Action has 4K up to 60 frames per second, whereas the Insta360 One X only has 1080p. The field of view on the Osmo Action is much wider but you can crop in in post as you can see this video looks all right doesn't it i hope it does tell me in the comments the osmo action is waterproof to 11 meters pretty sure and it has this little tiny it has this lens on it so if you take that the lens off you you can replace this if it gets cracked or scratched or something and you can buy screen protectors and stuff for every side of all the screens whereas in stuff these two lenses right here they get scratched very easily if you just bump it down and stuff like there's a dot on footage if you look at it closely you can see it on this footage so the durability is much better on the Osmo compared to the Insta. Reframing. Now, I know that the Insta360 is great for reframing, but I don't like it. I hate it because you have to go in crop. I just pressed the button. Uh, you have to go in post and you have to choose the right angle and that takes forever. And because it's actually 5.7k crop to 1080p the file size of this camera is huge and it uses up a lot of space because of the 4k capabilities and the osmo action you can actually crop in and the footage looks good the osmo action has many features well two features but that's that's many but yeah anyway it has two features it has slow-mo and time-lapse the slow-mo is very great very very good it can go up to eight times which is I don't know I don't know how many frames per second but a lot and time-lapse you have intervals to up to I don't know a lot so these time-lapses I've shot in previous videos and they're pretty good the insta has this mode called bullet time and it's where you spin the camera around and gets this slow-mo kind of weird shot but it has slow-mo and hyperlapse and those kinds of things too you can turn the warping on or off the osmo i found out when you're in hyperlapses and slow-mo or time lapses and slow-mo it just looks really warped on the edges the insta you can just crop in and it's it still looks really weird if you're not used to the 360 view because it's it's this round ball portability um yeah you can tell they're both small and portable i'd say the osmo is a lot more portable because you can just like toss it anywhere whereas the insta if you have this and you toss it anywhere you're gonna break it and the osmo costs less too so better the battery life on these from my testing the insta360 lasts less than the osmo so overall i'd say that if you want to get an action camera you'd get the osmo action but there also is a new action camera called the insta 361r which has multiple modular kind of um different cameras you have a one inch camera you have a gopro looking camera and a 360 one so if you want to get an action camera that would be the best 
fun to get, but out of the Insta and the Osmo, I'd say the Osmo is much better. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. To the Insta360, one. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing. Oh, thanks. Are you done? Um, yeah. Nico, I just started and then you walked right in. That's not funny, can you go? Uh -huh. <gasps> Attempt number 10.